The final component in building a flamenco practice is the soul of flamenco. And by that, I mean having confidence in your dancing and in your ability to express yourself, showing up and being brave and vulnerable all at the same time. And that's a lot to ask for, but why do you fl dance flamenco, right? Is because it, you're called to it. It, it inspires us, it, it, it excites us. So when you are dancing, you want to show that same expression to everyone and show everyone why you love flamenco. You have something to say, you have something to express, and you deserve to be seen in this light. So this one exercise that I do with my students, it just helps you connect with yourself and it helps you connect with the reason why you dance and, and it, it helps you to show up. And all it is, it's super simple, is you look at yourself in the mirror, and I don't mean looking at your body, my positioning, nothing like that, I mean making eye contact. And while you're dancing, it can be uncomfortable because you want to sometimes look at your hands, oh no, no, look at yourself in the eye. Because if you can look at yourself in the eye, then that helps you feel confident that other people can look at you. And sometimes people have uh, problems dancing in front of others, but uh, this at least helps you be strong and that you have something to share. All right, so next time you are in the dance studio practicing, take some moments to look at yourself in the eye while you connect, to connect with yourself. And one part to do that would be like at the beginning of your choreography, if you're playing compas, just to wait for the choreography to begin, that you look at yourself in the mirror while you're playing bambas to get ready. All right, another one is just walking forward and connecting. seems kind of goofy, but it works. Especially if you have your compañeras, your flamenco people with you, it, it becomes very powerful when you're all together just connecting with yourself. So give it a try.